certified and jump on your own. Do they right? hold on so here until you pull the cord? Or until the cord? Until you pull yeah, the cord. Yeah, so what am I going to do? Right until as they you watch let go they... of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, they hold on to you, Ed, so they, yeah, you don't hold them. I know that. But yeah, you pull your cord and they let go and then everybody's... Tandem? Oh, no, 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 no. Did you have good landings both times? I said tandem on my own. The second so time... Oh my She's getting some paper to call us. The first time I had a perfect landing. The second time, yes. you How wear this pencil? little walkie-talkie thing on your shoulder, and there's a guy on the ground talking to you, and he's guiding you and telling you how to, uh, like, how to pull on your toggles. And, and all I heard was... <laughs> My yeah, it's right. Right. That's right. I, all I heard, I heard the words, oh. you're screwing up. <laughs> and I looked down and I'm coming down over a forest. Uh -huh. oh. And next to the forest was the landing field and there's a windsock. They have this big windsock on right. a pole so you can tell which way the wind is blowing. So I just knew I should fly into the wind, keep going at the wind. And I, got, I was coming right down at the, at the site, perfect. And all of a sudden this guy who was a tandem jumper, it was a professional where the person strapped right to yeah, you. Yeah. They come flying in right in front of me. Like, really? We almost hit. Oh my god. Well, that seemed to me like we almost hit. We Did probably were 30 feet apart. Yeah. Near miss. And uh he <laughs> do it. Yeah, and I'm like he said, he said, So then I so I'm watching him and I pull out the tackles trying to slow down. Well now I'm coming right at the pole at the wind side. Like, <laughs> and I just missed that. I like yanked on the tackle and I just missed it. When I hit the ground I kind of tumbled. Yeah. Yeah. Peyton. They, they all came running to me. They're like, they're like, what were you doing? And I said, I couldn't hear a thing you were saying. And then when, when they said, when they found out I couldn't hear them at all, they told me I did a real good job. But they, they tell you before you go up that you have to hang on to the rip cord when you pull it. If you lose the rip cord, you got to buy them a case of beer. That's what these professional jumpers tell you. So after they found out, they're looking at me, and I'm on the ground, and I'm getting up. And they said, really? You couldn't hear us? Why? You did great. And then the guy looks at me, he says, you owe me a case of beer. Because <laughs> like, oh. I did. You just freaking, you pull the rip cord and just wing it. You know? But it was cool. Still one's really going to like it. What's the matter, huh?